everybody, this is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Conan Exiles. Looking forward to having fun with you guys today like we do every day. Hoping that you find something that you like. If you find something that you like, don't forget to slam the like button. It does help me out a lot, and I really do appreciate it. And if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Always got something new coming out for you. Love for you to be here when it happens. And we're back on the Conan modded server provided by Logic Servers. And we're back in the city. Uh, we went and killed Mr. Durblesack last episode and explored his Midnight Grove, which that doesn't really sound right saying it like that. But we did anyway, and I came back to make the altar, and the altar keeps making a durable sack. Let me show you guys right quick. Uh, here, let's go to durable sack right here. Durable. Right here. So this is the altar. Get off my bar. This is the altar. I'm going to craft one of them, and if you look at my inventory, it made a durable sack. And I can't place this. And thought it would have been the stacking mod. That would have been it, but uh, that updated today, and it is not that at all. So I don't know if we're allowed to place it yet or not. I can't even find it in the... I went in the admin screen just to see, like, maybe there's an altar in there. The altars aren't even on the admin screen. So I'm thinking this is something we're waiting for the update to happen next time. So it is what it is. And I just made it so it was the rain was perfect outside, and, and then the server said, no, that setting's not going to stay. We're going to make a rain. So we're in the rainy north, and... Um, also, this is a Golden Baniac server, and uh, one of the mods uh, is Ember Fire, I think it is, Ember Light, is blocking the spawns of limestone. So we went ahead, and I tried to put down some more thespians for, to make a limestone uh, merchant guy, but uh, it's not in the settings yet either, so I'm guessing something's happening here, we got to wait for Pippi to update. Uh, where the heck am I? Oh, I got lost in my own city. That's how you do it. So we loaded up the alchemist and the, uh, lo well, alchemist, Jerboa, your mama. You can't see her name because of the stuff. Uh, but anyway, loaded her up with limestone with no cost for the other players on the server. Also, Lothar of the Hill people now has it. Come, take my limestone. Uh, whoa, went the wrong way again. No? Yes. See, I'm doing good today. I get cookies. Uh, let's go over here. And there you go. There's Lothar of the Hill people. And as you can see, he's loaded with limestone, too. So hopefully this will help out people trying to build with the Lemurian set of lemurian -ness. So, anyhow, so today we want to continue. I need to finish this new workshop, our permanent resident workshop. Remember how we have a temporary one that's been permanent for about the entire series since we've been here? Yeah, uh, that needs to end. Uh, so hopefully that'll happen now. <laughs> so... Uh, last we were working on, we built the main chambered areas for the furnaces and stuff, which you can see in there, and they have chimneys going up, and the the smoke stone looks amazing. And I think we just need to kind of finish fleshing out this side. I did have, did make, oops, I used a healing wrap. I need to get this off my bar. There we go. We're done. All right, guys. I appreciate you being here today. Hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. Just kidding. I hope you did already, but you know what I mean. Okay, so we have... Some more things we need to place in here. Let's do that. Uh, and I need to get creative in my brain. Creative juices need to start to flow. And this here. This here. Uh, this here. This here. And... And then... And then... Uh, hmm. There they are right there. I was wondering where I put them at. Okay. So, let's see what we can get done here. I put black ice on my, my bar. I keep pressing escape. Sorry, I was playing another game. I am used to using... The other game made me learn to use escape for my inventory, and I keep pressing escape now. Uh, I do not have any more insulated right slopes. So let's get those off my bar. Oh, my God. I'm full. Sorry, Jerboa. There we go. Gerbil. Uh, we need to do right insulated slopes. Let's do 30 of those, and then let's do the left ones as well, because we have a lot of angles to work with here. Yeah, baby! Show me them angles. There's that. Let's go ahead and make a couple of these, too. And then uh, well, another one, please. Thank you. And we'll do another right one of those, too. We need some of them. This can't let it be having all the fun. There we go. Okay. Uh, hopefully most of this will snap in place. You know one thing when you do the inverted slopes that they oftentimes don't like to snap correctly because uh they won't because they feel like they need support below them so sometimes we have to use the beams to finish it out anyway can i put just gonna snap you right there Is that right wrong you are wrong 
You are wronger. So this it was the other way. My bad. Ah! Why am I building in third person? There we go. That was the problems. Uh, we need to put a wall underneath you. Oh, we have to do a double V cross thing. And it probably won't let me. Hmm. Miss the here. Well, all I'm going to end up really doing is going to fill in all the triangles on the sides and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and get those filled in. And when we get to starting on the new section of the build, we will come back. So you guys. Hold on. And we're back and we got ideas and we started close stuff in and there were problems. Uh, well, not problems. It was just like we had to put in more stuff to be able to close in more stuff. So uh, this end is now looking pretty clean. Ended up having to use some of the iron beams across it to get it to all the snap in the direction and in the way that we wanted. I've added a couple more floors and I'm just going to close this in and then we're going to start working on the next room, which is the main entrance. I'm going to put this in just for now. It kind of maybe sort of and then do this one here here and why am I why do I keep building in third person I don't prefer it I like running around in third person okay so we'll take that we'll drop you right here all right go down here go over here okay so now what I want to do is perhaps maybe let's do a floor on this height uh, round one height and make this all match the right way and kind of slide this thing in the holes the way that we want them in the holes. Oh, oh that was not where we wanted it. All right. Um, and this line just continues. It makes a big V here. And I think that we had to have some more supports for it to happen. Uh, let's get rid of you, please. Thank you very much. You have a nice day. Um, coming off of this, I think we need a pillars. Um, maybe we can do some pillars and square them out. Um, grab you. Put you right here. You are squared already. You are not. Of course not. Why would you want to be sh facing the same way as the other one does? That's against the rules. It's because of how the placement of the foundations are. Sometimes it's a little wonky and it'll rotate a little bit, but you can't really tell because they're so flat and smooth that you can't put them on the same way and blah, blah, blah. Let's continue to build. Uh, there's that and we should be able to come across some. There we go. There we go. I'm hoping to be able to get this one right here. We can. Very nice. Okay, now we're gonna pop you here, and then I'm gonna have to place one there. I've got enough extra ones, and I'm gonna grab a sandstone ceiling. Right here, well, more than one, a stack of them. And I'm hoping I can make something, I uh, can't, so like that. Oh, it's gonna suck, let's go like this then. Let's take you and bring you over, and that should do what we need to do. Yeah, we'll do that. Sorry, wasted pillars. My bad. You're fired. All right, put this here. Now, I should be able to rotate this to where it squares. And do the same thing here. And this way, they'll match when you come in the door. We've got some nice, mexy pillars up there. And we also have supports now for the rest of our ceiling. And that's cool. I'm down with that. It's pretty cool how that works, too. Uh, luckily, the spacing stays pretty much in line, so it doesn't look really off or anything like that, which I wouldn't be able to stand that, and then we have to figure something else out to do, and I really don't want to do that because this way it's a little lot easier, and I prefer that. Okay, let's put this here, and then now we can finish up our wall on this end. Um, I think we're just going to fill it in and then have the opening happen inside of there. I think that'll look the best. And is that backwards? It is backwards. You're fired. Let's try you here. And then, is this gonna be the right one, or are we the wrong? Are we wrong? Oh, we don't even want a place here, do we? Uh, I need to get up some more walls then. Um, I think I wanna do the smoke stone over here with this portion, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and place them here, but I don't like the grass poking through, so I'm going to end up covering that or raising the back floors up some or something. I'm not sure just yet. We'll get to that point in a second, though. But let's, 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 since this is so cheap to make, we'll go ahead and outline our area so I know what the heck I'm working with. There we go. That's not that. There we go. That's a there we go. I do know these are going to stay here. So let's get them up. Rotate. Thank you very much for not placing in the wrong direction. 
Okay. Well. Uh, let's try that again, shall we? Let's get over here and add some more forge in the spaces. Now, I'm not really sure what we're going to use this side of the build for. Uh, kind of want to... Wrong button. Kind of want to get to where um, it's getting built more and then make a decision based off of that. Now, that should be triangles again. It is. Okay, very nice. We should be able to come off of you. Should be able to... Oh, it did it right. Yes, yes. There we go. There we go. Very nice. Okay, cool. All right, so let's pop over here. And pop this. Nope. Backwards. Aim good. There we go. And that might give us enough support now to be able to place this other piece. Yes, 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 it does. It does. Is it facing correctly? I don't know. I don't know what I've been told. That's facing the wrong way. We need the other one. Right slope, so we need the left slope. Left slope, death stroke. Where's it at? Come on now. Where are you hiding? Smoke. Smoke. There we go. And put you on two. Put you right here. There we go. Okay, cool. That's closed in. So what I probably need to do is add in some more foundations back here and figure out or maybe use the wood insulated ones and they'll give it more of a balanced look with the build and then we'll come right back. So you guys hold on and we shall return. And we're back. I get tired of saying that so I try to say it differently every time. And we're back. And we're back. Welcome to the return of me. On my video. <laughs> and I've uh, been fiddling around, tried a couple different things so far, not really happy with how designs are going, but I did want a more challenging build. And I'm getting that. It's 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 challenging. Uh, so we're gonna try and match up the foundation placement and then work with that instead. I think that might yield us a better result than what I've been getting so far. And I'm hoping that is definitely the case. The problem here is this. So regardless of what I do, there's going to be some sort of overlay, and I, I might try to work with that, but that means when the walls go up, we're going to have a weird thing happening here, and I would have to dress that up some more. Not sure if I want to do that or not. I don't think I do. I almost would rather take out this and this guy and kind of work with it like this and make two smaller rooms and then have it look a little bit more clean. And it might, again, give it more character. Because, you know, told to put a sweater on and it didn't listen to me. And now, now it's sitting here whining. And so I'm trying to get it up to bar. Let's see. Let's put you here. And can we stack you, please? No, 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 that's not allowed. No, not allowed. No, no, not allowed. No, not allowed. It's allowed now for this. No, not, no. Okay. And I'm dizzy from first. That's good. Let's get some drinky drink down our throats. Drinky drink is hiding where? Oh my god, right there. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Now, uh, looking at the build, how it is. I, I kind of like that. And so, uh, you know, it's like, you know, this is different. And it has this different with it. We have the main entrance, which is different. Which we're going to do something across the top of that. And then the back here in these quarters. I'm not sure exactly how the layout's going to go. Where we're going to place stuff. Um, this is should, and maybe we can put our um, alchemist over here, and then maybe do something different here too. And then on this end of it, since we will have maybe have our blacksmiths up on this area, and possibly mix in the tanners over here. I was thinking about maybe over there, but with the blacksmiths, it'd be near the smelters, which would make kind of sense. Um, then the cooker, the cookerizations are going to go in here, which is on the other side of the house. And then the top level will make into like bedroom and storage or something. I'm, I think that's what's going to end up happening. I do want to leave a space between this and the chimney so we can see the chimney on the multiple floors. Sorry for the camera. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just being, yeah. But I think that's what we're going to do. I like how that looks. I'm trying to actually get some pieces together now. Let's do that. Let's just be quiet and build, shall we? Take you. Put you right there. Put you right there, and I'm hoping it'll snap the side of that now. What is your major malfunction? Great! 
Let's do the separation here then, because that's where our foundation goes up. And then we need to add some mason lines in and get do a little bit of offsetting and maybe use the insulated pillars on this side or the black or the smokestone ones. I'm not sure yet. Mason line right here. Put you right there. And all right, all right. that's almost right. And right there. That's what we needed. And then grab the sandstone. Sandstone. Uh, replace you with that. Put you here so we can now place a pillar on the edge and dress at the corner. Get it all printed up. Let's grab some smokestone pillars too. There's one. And that can go with a mason line since we're done using those. And it might be... Let me see how that looks. I think that actually looks better. And maybe we can mix it up by putting insulated wood here. Let's do that. Let's do that. Not use insulated pillars there, but the, but the wood walls there instead. That. Let's go up a couple. There we go. And then grab the insulated wood walls. Right here. There we go. There we go. And let's go up a couple more just to kind of have the walls up. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. That that's really important not to be mad at it. When you're mad at it, it doesn't doesn't help anything or anyone. So what we do need to do though is bring ugh, I got rid of the sandstone. Durr. Sandstone ceilings, come back to me. Come back to me. Come back to me. All right, we're going to come out this way. And put one here. And I might have to put some pillars below it to give it support so it'll go up into it. Like that. And this way we can do our lovely looking pillarizations. And go up. There we go, and we go up another one, and we'll make this room at least three walls high. And maybe make this section four walls high, and go from there. But I think the, it's, it's starting to form out pretty nicely. I'm, I'm not mad at this. Yet. Things may change. We will see. Let me see here. Let's get this up. Get this out of the way. Let's get rid of you. And let's take another look at it. Yeah, 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 very nice. Well, let me get back to work on this, get some more stuff shaped out. We will, uh, you know, the, the thing I normally say, because I keep saying this, I'm going to say this time. Hey, guys, welcome back. I hope you're ready to build. Oh, there went my skirt. It went away, then it came back. I hope you're ready to build. I'm ready to build. Mm-hmm. Let's do this. First off, that's got to hurt. To stand that long. Good hip action, though. Okay, anyway. Um, we got some ideas to get together now. I think what we're going to do is on this side is build an A-frame. And come across and make this more of a squared building where this triangle's at. And let it influence the rest of the build. So we'll go ahead and get started on that right now. Um, oh, we got the wrong windows up. Let's get the, win let's get the correct windows. The smoke-ish windows of love. Right there. Bam. Oh, yeah, baby. Is that the correct way? Are you facing right? You are facing right. You get cookies. All right. Put you here and put you here. And we're going to go up another one. And I was thinking about going to insulated wood here, but I think I'm going to keep the smokestone and make the rest of it into insulated wood that's around it. So we have this we have this window we can't get on and the wall we can't get on top of. We're going to try to right now. This is the, the physical challenge. Al. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so come up another one here. And we have wood pillars on that side, so we'll come up more with wood pillars on that. Kind of keep that going. So this is our transition portion of the build. Let's get some slopes out. We need both the insulated and the smokestone. Um, this goes here, this goes here. Then we need the insulated wood. Insulated, insulated, insulated. Yeah. All right, grab you. 
And why are you two not being friends? Be friends! You are friends now. Okay. So, let's see here. Is that the right way? Is that the right way? Is that which one's the... Ah, I'm going to place her from here. I can't do that. I got to see which way's out her face. Uh, We'll try that. Yes! You win. Why are you not face right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's just rotate. There we go. No, it's wrong. You're a liar. So many lies being told by this smoke stone right now. There we go. I, I'm so strong. I can grab air. You know what I mean? All right. Put this up here. Put this right there. And then we'll come back with the roofing now and see how it lines up with everything. We also need to go up another pillar here, too. All right, so let's grab the slopes and drink, get some drinky drink in our soul because our souls need some drinky drink, it looks like. Let's see. Drinky drink. Drinky. Nope. I guess it's still under water satchel. Oh, we can have some absinthe. I'm down with that. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> really? Tell me how you really feel. I'm just saying. Let's see. One, two. There we go. You were feeling tipsy. I'm warming up. I'm cooling down. I've got increased encumbrances. I don't know what's going on, apparently. Of course, I, I replaced the thing. I didn't mean to I got the wrong slope. That's the problem. I, I, I have been drinking some absinthe, I guess. Oh, because we don't have any other slopes. That's why. Slopey. Sleep. Okay, let's craft up a bajillion of these because we go through them like it's candy. Of course you failed to place it because you're drunk. Whoa. I guess they got a new sound for the crafting of things. And you don't want to place there. That'll place there. There we go. Come out like that. So now go down here. <laughs> Why are you trying to sound like a thrall? You're not a thrall. There we go. There we go. Okay. I think once we get this taken out of there and we add in another smoke pillar, it'll look better there. We might have to do some more work on that end to uh, treatments, if you will, to make it come together right now. Over me. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. Let's go right here, and we're going to grab some some smoke stone. It's a central piece. Uh, we have to have one side stay open, but then another side needs to... This side needs to uh, close off this one. I don't know. I don't want to do too many of the angle tops. Maybe at least one wall here. Here. Like that, and that, and then come across with the upside down cake. Mm, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to toy around this a little bit more, guys, and then we, you know, and then I'll show you some more stuff, and we'll build some more stuff together. So don't go anywhere. And we're back. And we've got a lot of stuff done. Uh, pretty happy with it so far. Ended up getting rid of the... We had an A-frame building in the middle. Got rid of that. Put a different front end on it. Decided to extend the tall part to a further back part. So happy about that. It looks a lot more cohesive in its special kind of way than it did. I do like the windows being squared up like that. It really gives it more of a factory look to me. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I can't wait to get the other wall up on this side and see how it looks filled in. But right now, it's in a good place. It's in a good place. We'll go ahead and get some of this done now. And then it'll look nice and shiny. Nice and shiny for everybody. Thumbs up for nice and shiny for everybody. All right, let's get up here. It's been a little wonky, too, placing some of this stuff, so, uh, you know, it. I guess that's part of the, you know, dealing with it. Like, some of it has, you know how it is, outer face, outer face, nope, nope, inner face now. You know, that kind of a thing, so, anyway, we deal with what we gotta deal with. Let's put this in here, backwards, again. Let's put this like that, pull that out, put this one back in. Again, again, the ceiling's influencing you to be wrong. Do not be wrong, be right. There you go, very nice. That's there, that there. Let's get up top. 
And this way we can add in some more floor space. Floor. And make our nice wood floors seem very, very nice. Nice. I like, I like nice. All right, go there. All right, go over here. Pop this in. Ah! Right, let's try that again. There we go. Nice job. Oh, really good job. Thank you so much for that. Okay, so we don't have enough supports coming up this far, so we need to start bringing up walls from down below. Um, what we're going to do is run walls up here, do an angled slant roof, I think, with that uh, to kind of give it a nice little shimmy shelter thing. I don't know what the correct word is for it, so I'm calling it a shimmy shelter. And we'll do that. So um, let's drop up here and see. Maybe do the double windows yet again and just kind of keep this weird consistency. Now, we'll end up taking out some floors to make our stairs or we might even put an elevator in the sucker because you know it is a, a factory so maybe an elevator might be kind of cool um and then we have the back wall to come up to let's do the back wall too i'm gonna go ahead and craft up some more we'll do the smoke stone walls right there let's do five bajillion of them there we go and jump down here and there we go. Now, hopefully the outer face will concur with our intentions. It looks like it has. At least for the moment. Oops, I went over one. That's why it was working with me. Because, of course, I didn't want one right there. That's my bad. My bad. Ah! <laughs> You're fired. You're so fired. You might design stuff okay, but you're pretty bad at this whole thing here, John. Okay, we got that up. Let's grab some slopes. Kind of to tie it in again. Oh, wrong side. We might want to go over on this side and type it because that's actually where my inventory is. That was the crafting side, and we already have these made. So that would be a smart thing to do to possibly do this like that. So, okay, let's grab you. And we'll fill that one in in a second. Let's get back outside, run around, get back around. So we can build on top of those slopes, though. At, whoa, at least. Okay. Whoops, 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 whoops. Come on now, man. Don't be like this. We got work to do. And up. Oh. What is this? What is this? What do you... Okay. Okay. That's better. Holy crap. Okay, so we're going to add windows here, I guess, to make it match both all the sides. Again, this uniform look for a factory type thing. If I can get to where it will actually snap or in the spot where I want to snap and be in the right facing yes it is okay good stuff and then throw this up here put this right there and put this right there and right there go up into the level and we'll we'll finish that up and then see what it looks like i think it's gonna look good it's gonna be interestingly in a good way that's there there and there and there nope of course because why all right, and then this goes here, here, go to this end, here and here, add these guys right here and here, put this guy right here and here, and there we go. And drop this bad boy right in that slot there, and not there, that's wrong. That's wrong again. And put this right there. Okay, let's see how this looks. Not too shabby. Yeah, I'm I'm okay with that. That's not too horrible. If it would ever stop lagging. Yeah. We need the back wall up. But it's, it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. I got to clean up a couple more parts. But I'm happy, happy with the design so far. I think we finally got it where it's finally going to finish up the exterior of it. And we can start filling it in with good stuff. So... Either way, let me get this thing done and we'll be back to see how it finishes up. Yeah, hold on. Welcome back. And we're here and we've got stuff done. And I'm pretty happy with how it's looking so far. We still need to get some lighting in here. But uh, I, I think the layout is good to go. G2G. I really think it has that good factory look to it now. 
and this is the workshop, the new workshop. So it, it, I think it I think it came out pretty good. Um, the overall look to it looks pretty nice. There's a couple parts where I'm not happy where some pillars come up at, but generally speaking, it, it came out well. Here's the here's the pillars coming up at part. But uh, the interior is starting to shape up really nicely, and we finally have already got some stations in here. So over in this spot, as you enter the door. And put the armories up here and use some of the crates and satchels to kind of, well, you know, kind of not do a good job of covering up the grass. And I uh, did some wall treatments there. We have a lovely fashionist armor stand, which, by the way, you can set this up uh, and put a set of armor in it. And you can come up and actually use the armor stand and it will make your uh, visuals match that, which is pretty nice if you're trying to jump around. Especially, I, I can see how it works well in RP sense. If you have your desert looking gear versus your other gear, you can have it all set up. But that looked, came out pretty good. Um, I put up railings and the elevators inside. Really like how this looks and the layout of it. It, it turned out pretty good. I, I think it has a nice feel. Work just we got done, kind of testing some of the waters. You can see I got a crap ton of books, which I I, I spawned those in just to see what the books look like. I don't mind making them, but uh, there's a lot of special maps we have to go through and just trying to get it done to see what it looks like. And so far it looks pretty good. It needs other things in there to finish treating it up, but it looks uh, not too mad at that, you know. Um, and we have our Torben Lassilides, the last Coranicles, which I wish it talked when you looked at it, but it doesn't. So, um, up here, we got the second layer of the levels we're going to be doing in here. This is where I'll put a throne to be like, Can, why have you stopped working? You don't have time to breathe. Exactly. And then up here, we have our main workstation area coming together. So the tannery is up. This is a great tannery. It's it's just great. I'm really a big fan of it. Uh, put a press over here with a couple barrels and a satchel in there. We got a skins in the corner. Uh, double improved blacksmiths because they they go they're so fast and quality like that we don't need more than that right now. And this is a saw uh, bench, which uh, it, it's pretty cool. It's humongous. You can't see it that well because it's dark out, but it's pretty humongous and it, it fits pretty decent in the corner. I had to put a couple crates in here, but it'll work. I haven't done anything with the, the kitchens or anything like that. We added some other stuff on the inside here. You can see the now there's steel bars in the back. Lined it up, threw a bellows down, finished that up, add this. And then now we can get up to the second floor, which nothing has really been done to it yet, but it's there. And that is probably about it. You know, there's nothing really much going on here. Where's the switch? Oh, great. I can't get back. Oh, yeah, I can. And this is this was pretty much hell trying to even get this to snap into place, but we got it in there. We got it going. We got it done. The the workshop at least is formed and put together. And I'm happy about that. Hopefully you're happy about it too. Whoa, look at my skirt. That's a that's going down pretty fast. Hey guys. Woo! Woo! <laughs> anyway. As always, guys, thank you so very much. And you have yourselves a good night.